If you're a man who wants to change his hormonal profile, you're likely looking for ways to naturally balance your testosterone and estrogen levels. Since there are a few different ways to do this, it's important to know what you're getting yourself into. This is especially true if you're considering taking an aromatase inhibitor. Since we can't stop aging, the videos on this channel can help us have the best life possible. In today's news update, I want to talk about do you need an aromatase inhibitor to boost testosterone levels? If you have any questions about this video, just call or text Healthy at 60 Plus at 609-410-4790. Now let's see what we have today. Aromatase inhibitors, also known as AIs, have been formulated to treat a host of male health issues including low testosterone, infertility, and low sex drive. So what is aromatase? Aromatase is an enzyme responsible for converting androgens into estrogens. It is present in both men and women, however, in men it converts testosterone into estrogen. In women, the enzyme converts androstenedione a steroid hormone produced in the adrenal glands into estrone and estradiol, the most potent form of estrogen. And what are aromatase inhibitors? Aromatase inhibitors are drugs that inhibit aromatase, thereby reducing the amount of estrogen in the body. Aromatase inhibitors are the most common form of antiestrogens used for TRT, which is testosterone replacement therapy in men. While not as prevalent as the use of anti-aromatase drugs in female forms of HRT, called hormone replacement therapy, AIs are still a proven form of TRT in men. One of the most important things that you have to remember is that aromatase inhibitors are not an alternative to your regular testosterone treatment. In fact, there's a very good chance that you will need your regular dose of testosterone even if you are taking AIs. What are the benefits of using aromatase inhibitors? As already said, aromatase inhibitors are a type of anti-aromatase drug that can be used to block the conversion of testosterone to estrogen. This is a common strategy for people who are looking to increase their testosterone levels. The science behind aromatase inhibitors and testosterone is quite simple. The more aromatase enzymes you have, the higher estrogen levels will be. The more aromatase you have, the more your testosterone will convert to estrogen. The best way to decrease the amount of aromatase enzyme and estrogen in your body is by taking an AI drug. And what are the symptoms of estrogen dominance in men? Excess estrogen in a male body is called estrogen dominance. Estrogen dominance is a condition in which the estrogen levels in the male body are higher than they should be. Estrogen dominance can be caused by many factors including genetics, medications, environmental pollutions, and hormonal imbalances. Most people don't realize they have it until they experience the symptoms which include fatigue, low sex drive, headache, abdominal fat, cellulite, water retention, and depression. In men, estrogen dominant symptoms are often misdiagnosed as male menopause or hypogonadism. Are there any natural aromatase inhibitors? The best nutrients to combat aromatase include zinc, magnesium, vitamin D, and vitamin A. You can also look for phytochemicals and herbs that inhibit aromatase. One natural aromatase inhibitor you may have heard of is called DIM, D I M. DIM is found in cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kale, watercress, and bok choy. Resveratrol, bitter lemon, and genistein are also natural aromatase inhibitors. One of the most notable AIs is chrysin, which is a flavonoid that is found in honey and propolis as well as passion flower. Do natural aromatase inhibitors for men have any side effects? 
You should know that these natural aromatase inhibitors for men and the medications have side effects. In fact, all meds have side effects. Even aspirin, which is a natural drug, still has side effects. Side effects of natural aromatase inhibitors are rare, but are often related to interactions with other medications or natural supplements. Mild side effects include nausea, dizziness, and fatigue. However, these side effects are only temporary and should resolve on their own within a few days. In conclusion, aromatase inhibitors for men are a great way to keep your estrogen levels in check. If you're worried about your estrogen levels getting out of control, then you should consider an aromatase inhibitor to reduce the amount of testosterone that your body converts to estrogen. Okay, that's it for this video. But just one more thing. If you have any questions about this video, just call or text Healthy at 60 Plus at 609-410-4790. And do you want to learn about a natural way to deal with erectile dysfunction? At Healthy at 60 Plus, we have a preferred method called nitric oxide therapy. Click the link below this video to see a great explanation of nitric oxide therapy and how it can change your life. To be informed of new videos, just subscribe to this channel and remember to click the bell icon. To view other videos about this same topic, just click on either of the two video links above. I want to thank you for stopping by today and watching this video. Have a great day and here's to your good health.